So we've already translated systems of linear equations into matrix equations. So we've taken algebraic expressions of the form, say I'll just do the, the 2 by 2 system, x2 is equal to b1, and we have a to 1 x1 plus a to 2 x2 is equal to b2. All right, we've, we've seen this, and then we translated this into the augmented system, a11, a12, a21, a22, b1, b2. And that allowed us to carry out our operations more efficiently, and we had to translate everything into, into these terms. Well, matrix multiplication is, uh, one way to motivate it is, essentially we want another compact representation, right? We want, a, we want an algebraic representation, so this is an algebraic representation. It's an algebraic set of equations. But I want something really simple, right? I want something extremely simple that indicates that I have an A matrix and an X column and a B column, and they're all related somehow, that, that I have some system of inequalities. And so I'm going to define matrix multiplication, or we're going to define matrix multiplication, so that essentially we can write, we can encode all this as just the simple equation AX is equal to B. That looks really nice. It's really compact. And this A is going to encode my coefficient matrix. This X will be my unknown variables. And this B is going to be my, what was my augmentation, that's going to be the right-hand side of these equations. So that looks really nice. And we're basically going to force matrix multiplication uh, to behave in such a way that when I do matrix multiplication of this A by this column, then I recover exactly these equations. Uh, I'll, I'll re recover a column uh, that encodes these equations if I, if I identify this column with this column. Um, and so in particular, we're, you know, we're going to have that A is equal to Aij entries, I equals 1 up to M and j is equal to 1 up to n. And then x is going to be a column, x1 up to, I have n many guys here. And b is also going to be a column. So b, but it's going to be a different size. It's going to be b1 all the way up to bm. Right, I have m, m equations, and so I have m right-hand sides, and I have n unknowns. So I want to I want to define this multiplication. So let, let me write this out. So so when I when I write this, this is in the most compact form, but I can also write it out in an expanded form, right? So so this is the same as a x is equal to b for general matrix A. So I've got a one one all the way up to a one n, and I've got a i j is my general entry. A m one to a m n. And I'm going to multiply by this, uh, this by the, the column matrix, x1. We'll also, later we'll call this a vector. But for now, let's call it a matrix, because we don't know what a vector is yet. Now you can read ahead and figure it out. It's not so bad. All the way up to uh, bm. So I want, I want to define multiplication so that... Uh, this equation, right, or the corresponding equation that I should get here, corresponds to multiplying this row by this column, and I get that the corresponding entry is equal to B1, right? So this entry here, what should it look like? Right, when I, the, the entry up there should look like, right, so the first entry of this guy should be A11, X1, plus a12 x2 plus all the way up to a1n xn and the last entry should be something like am1 x1 plus am2 x2 plus plus amn xn and I want that to all be equal to b1 up to bm. So here I have 
If you look at this, you're going to have m many equations or m many entries of this guy. And I have that I want to define matrix multiplication so that exactly this happens, right? So what, what does that mean? Well, that means that if I have a single column, right, if I just look at, it, at, at multiplying a row by a column, right, if I have a single row, I have a11, a12, all the way up to a, 1m times x1, x2, up to xm. Well, I want that to be equal to a11, x1, plus all the way up to a1n, xn. That's how I want to define my multiplication. Uh, and if I look at this, this is the same as saying If you remember sigma notation, this is the same as summing from j is equal to n, a1j, xj. That would give me the first entry, right? And I'm going to proceed like that for every single, every single row. And I'll get exactly these entries. So the, the idea of the multiplication is essentially I'm going to take each row and I'm going to feed it to the column here. And then I'm going to do, uh, essentially, I'll, I'm going to multiply this guy times this guy. So this guy gets multiplied by that entry, this entry, and then this entry. So I, I like to think about it as, a, as feeding rows to the column, and that's how you get your, your multiplication. And so in general, for the general multiplication, you have that AX at the ith entry is going to be equal to sum from J equals 1 to N of AIJ, right? So this indicates the row that I'm feeding to the column X, XJ. And that is simple multiplication where I just have this matrix is one column. Now we're going to extend that to multiple columns.